Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina. This is Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel. <clears throat> and today I'm super excited because I have some jeans to show you. Yes, jeans. You know, I've been on a craze lately, but I promise that these will be the last ones that you're going to see on my channel for a while because I'm shifting focus now. But I've made these uh, items a long time ago and it's finally the time to show them to you because this was a pattern test uh, by Megan Nielsen. Um, we were testing months ago, I think in August I believe and as you know maybe this is why I started going crazy on making trousers because I had such a good experience making these. So these um, jeans have been released today along with other three patterns in a collection by Megan Nielsen. I don't even know what they are, I have to go and look like right now. <laughs> but I was involved with testing the Dawn jeans. These are designed to be made with non-stretch denim or bottom weight uh, no stretch fabric like you know like canvas or linen or like thick suiting, anything that does not stretch basically. Um, they are higher rise but not super high waisted either and it comes with um, options uh, for the closure on the front either with button, uh, the button fly or the fly front zipper. They come with different lengths so uh, for the leg you have a regular length, a cropped length and a tall inseam as well. That's all included with each of the views. Now I will insert a line drawing here and some of the product pictures that they've taken uh, you know to promote the product with the models and there is a view A that has a more slimmer leg and they've called this the tapered leg it's the slimmest leg of them all uh, view B has a straight leg so the typical pant you know and view C has a wide leg and view D is short now about the sizing um, sizes 0 to 20 um, waist of 24 to 38 inches or hips of 34 to 48 inches. Now what's my size in this uh, chart? It's a 16, no surprise there, 34, 44, <laughs> quite straightforward. Now um, these are designed to have some ease around the waist so there's like a an inch and some of ease around the waist but around the hips the ease is minimum I think it's like a quarter of an inch so basically it's meant to be snug around the hips now these come with all the bells and whistles you know all the pocket pieces the coin pocket belt loops and all the things you know and I'm going to show you my muslin now um, I decided to use a fabric I've already used in the past. I would class this as a medium uh, weight denim. I, I, I would equate it to that. Uh, although it's a vintage home furnishing cotton by Ralph Lauren. And I've made a jacket uh, with this fabric before. <laughs> You've seen this maybe, I'll put a picture. Anyway, it has no stretch. It's really nice to work with it. And I decided to use this for the first um, muslin that turned out super wearable. I mean, I can wear this. It's perfect. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right now that I didn't need to make any adjustments to this pattern. Not a single adjustment. I didn't have to mess with anything. Okay, you know what that means? Nothing. <laughs> I just cut it, made it straight out of the printer basically and I was super shocked and happily shocked really because I couldn't believe it. Um, now the only adjustment I made, and it doesn't affect the feet or anything, it's just for my ease in the future, is um, the waistband is cut in one piece. So basically on the back here you put it on the fold and then it's just one continuous piece that goes all the way around that you cut twice, right? Um, but I am planning on taking these in in the future, hopefully. <laughs> And just having one piece waistband would make that more difficult. So I just uh, figured out where the seam would be on the waistband there and I just created a seam there. Just there on the side seams there is also a seam on the waistband. Now that's quite common, you would find that on other patterns, it doesn't affect anything. It's just for my future. If I want to unpick this part of the waistband, I can unpick that, take it in by a centimeter and keep going with the seam all the way down or how much I need to take it in. So I did want to have that option for myself in case I do shrink a little bit, you know what I mean? Always good to have an option, right? As you can see, the waistband is one long piece. 
So you cut this twice, that is the middle there, the center back. So what I've done is determined where the seams are going to be uh, for the back and I just did that by walking the seams there considering the 5 eighths of an uh, inch seam allowance. So I just cut it. What I did and it's really important is that there is a grain line mark and I continued that line there to keep the curve of the waistband uh, correctly. This is a curved waistband. So now I have a, a right and a left um, waistbands the left one is the one that has the buttonhole the right one is the one that attaches to the zipper fly um, uh, shield so a little bit like extra work but if I want to modify my pieces later it's totally worth it to do that I just basically add uh, a centimeter of seam allowance there and then I just attach them this is a print so you can't really see that many details but I did put the little coin pocket there it's got the double row of top stitching everywhere like you've seen all my other pants um, the back has a yoke that's been top stitched uh, patch pockets this is crazy you can't really see the details <laughs> geez what can I say awesome um, I have a button there made out of wood. I didn't use a jean zipper on this one because I didn't have one at the time, but this works just as well. I didn't go crazy with the pockets, just cotton in there. <laughs> this was supposed to be a test, uh, but it came out so wearable. Um, yeah, super. I'm super happy with this. So I have um, a little fit clip for you to see. This is view D, these are the first ones I made. This was my wearable towel. I just cut it out, made it no modifications and realized the fit was fine for me. Um, this little area here, just under the yoke, up to there, not at the fullest of my hip. I needed to let out the seam allowance a little bit. Otherwise the fit is really good. There's some pockets there. Um, I did do the little coin pocket on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it's the only version I did the coin pocket for and I'm super happy. Um, I did lengthen them maybe like by five centimeters because I thought the original was a bit short. But yeah, super happy with these. The only tiny, tiny modification I had to do to the pattern for it to fit my body is from the yoke right there down to like mid hip not even the fullest part of my hip it's just a little area right there i had to uh instead of using the 5 8 seam allowance i used the 3 8 of a seam allowance just in that little area that extra volume i needed around that particular area of my body did not warrant me going up a size it was just that little area if i would have chosen one more size it would have been bigger at the waist and the hip, so it was just that little bit right there. But I mean, that is a minimal adjustment. In the grand scheme of pant fitting, it is minimal. Okay, so after I finished with this one, I decided to make another one because I knew the fit was spot on. All I needed to do was change the view. I made view C, which is the wide leg, and I decided to make it uh, cropped, not, not full length, because I think wide leg pants look nice cropped. At least I have this image of how I want to look in them and yeah. So I used this really thick linen fabric that I had in my stash and I did some creative cutting because I wanted to get another garment out of the same fabric as well. So I did this madness of pattern placements. I'll show you a picture. But there were two particular pieces of the jeans that did not fit in there. So those are this little piece that goes behind the pocket there. I made out of uh, fake leather so that's you can see it shining there and then the patch pockets at the back I did it with fake leather as well now this was a good idea in my head uh, when I went to the practice part of sewing it was so hard uh, I am like I don't know how people make full garments out of fake leather I don't have the proper foot I have the normal metal feet you know so the thing get, kept getting stuck, you know. Vivian told me to put sellotape under the, 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 my presser foot to make it slide, so I did that. I've tried sewing on this uh, four leather onto this cotton so I can attach that piece of the pocket onto there. But this is just scraps and it's terrible. Uh, the stitch length is really short, even though I put it on the longest, it just bunches up at the back. 
it's just terrible. So I'm going to try interfacing a piece of this scrap for leather uh, and see if that makes it easier to sew onto the cotton. This is what's worked so far. Um, just trying out. I interfaced the other side and then I uh, folded it like it's going to be sewn, like the pocket. And I put the tension really high, the stitch, the stitch length really long and somewhat decent results. And um, yeah, to, to sew on these pockets, I had to tape them down like with tape because I couldn't pin them. I'll show you a picture. It was hilarious. And yeah, it was quite difficult to get that stitched in. Very, very difficult. And then I had to pull out all the tape until it was all gone. It worked. It was a quick fix solution and I got them there. Uh, inside here, you know how you have that piece that attaches to the to the pocket lining well I couldn't attach it it was a hot mess um, I had to bind the edges there with vice binding and that's the only way I could have sewn that on because when I tried directly yeah fail that worked but it, yeah, it was not easy so um, although this was supposed to be a super easy make I made it hard on myself by doing these things that I regret so bad but I didn't have like another black contrasting fabric. I, that was the solution I came up on the second. Now I'll turn this around so you can see the insides. Um, I chose a, a black cotton with polka dots that I had in my stash to do the pocket lining. Well, it's inside the polka dots. <laughs> and I did the inner waistband with the same. Now the yoke piece of the trousers I interlined with the same fabric just to make it more stable. Um, I think this is a high stress area so I just placed a yoke piece on top of the yoke and this treated it as one just in that place and um, my fly extension the binding is the same polka dotty thing I really like how it looks um, plus the, the cotton inside the waistband makes them softer and like super comfortable now this is a pretty heavy fabric um, I'm holding it and I can feel the weight, but it drapes beautifully. I don't know if you can see the drape. I love this. I love it. And I have a little fit clip as well. I chose to have them above the ankle sort of cropped and the fabric drapes really nice and it like swishes when I move and I really, really like it. Really like this uh, version. I think it's my favorite one. I also put a uh, a pocket there at the back <laughs> very difficult to put on as well I'm super happy with the feet nice and snug here around the hips um, nice and snug here at the top as well on the waist um, yeah very nice you know I don't tuck in so I didn't put belt loops but I'm super happy oh, I just love how the swish swish <laughs> So I've shown you view D, the shorts, um, then view C, the wide legs, and now we're going backwards because I have view B. <laughs> view B is the straight leg. And I had this denim that I bought specifically for this um, at the craft fair that I went to. It's stiff as stiff as jean can come, but not that thick, you know? And um, I did the inner waistband with this uh, contrasting cotton Alexandra Henry fabric that I've been using. Uh, I did the pockets with that as well. Um, I top stitched everything with grey top stitching thread. Everything's the same. I top stitched all the rest. It's just that I top stitched them with the same colour so you can't really tell that much. But here you can. The pockets, I didn't make any designs on them because I, I wasn't feeling it. Uh, I wasn't like feeling any design, I just went and put the pocket on, you know, <laughs> and um, so I'm inside the zipper, you know how it looks. Um, I think they turned out super nice, they are so comfortable, you know, for, for being non-stretch, the fit is so good, like it's ridiculous, the fit is awesome. Um, if I had to pick which is my favourite. I can't pick really, I like them all. Now I didn't make view A which is the tapered leg, the slimmer leg, I don't think it's my style, I don't know. For now I'm sticking to B, C and D, I don't think I'll make A. But these three that I've made, I have, it's 
just love them so much and I also have a feet clip of this. I've cuffed the bottoms there so I can wear them with these heels. Um, although they are snug, I can still move in them. I did the top stitching with grey. There are the pockets there. Pockets at the back. The waist sits nice and snug. Oh yep, those were my three. I had a lot of fun making them. I have construction down. I know all the steps now. Uh, the instructions for these jeans were totally the way I would construct if I didn't have instructions. So yeah, I'm so happy with these. And for now I'm stopping. I have a lot of, you know, trousers to wear now. Um, I'll be making more in the future for sure. And I love that there's all these views and options you can choose for your leg. And I, I love that you know it's gonna fit. And the only thing that's gonna change is, is the style of the leg. You know, you don't have to go and fit the, the jean again. You know, you can choose your length, how you wanna close it in the front with zippers or with buttons. I prefer zippers, by the way. So yeah, I totally recommend this pattern. Super clear instructions. Um, the fit for me, I can only have an opinion for myself, you know, the fit was phenomenal. Everything went together, every little piece went together perfectly. There's nothing I can fault the pattern at all, nothing I can say other than it's just awesome. <laughs> so I'll say goodbye now, I'll leave you with some photos. Now, just let me uh, point out that I like dressing up. And all the photos, I took them in my most dressed up me because that's how I like to be. And I can totally go out and be normal like that here. Women do dress up to go out, so I wouldn't be like overdressed or anything. But yeah, I'm showing you pictures of the way I would dress this in the more dressed up way because I like it. So yeah, that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload. And I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.